Hello, this is Kyuku with Mong Life. Today, we're going to show you how to make crispy duck lab. And for this dish, these are the ingredients you're going to need. But don't worry about that right now because I'm going to go over this again later on. First, you're going to need to purchase a whole duck. And the reason for that is because duck skin is not usually available in the store by itself. So I'm going to show you how to skin the duck. First, you make an incision down the middle and then with a very sharp knife, you're going to just quickly slice between the skin and the meat. And this should come off quickly, but you're going to need a very sharp knife to do this. Now be extra careful not to cut yourself. And you're going to need as much meat as you can, so be extra careful not to take any meat off with the skin. And now that you've taken the skin off, I'm going to show you how to debone the meat. Just follow along the bone with your knife and just slice off the meat. This should allow it to come off clean and you should have yourself a very nice piece of meat. And now we're going to set this aside and cut the rest of the duck. Now, the leg is a little bit tricky. You just need to work your way around it and uh, be careful not to cut away any meat again. And uh, you're going to save the piece of skin, which we'll all be using later. Uh, in the traditional uh, cooking, the bone is saved for soup. So you can put that aside and we can learn how to cook a soup another time. But for now, we're going to just show you how to finish off the rest of the leg. So that way we can have enough meat to make our dish. Now I'm going to show you how to slice the skin. At first, trim away some of the fat. And we're going to slice it into thin pieces so that later on we'll be when we fry it, it will be crispier. And now I'm going to chop the meat by hand, but if you have a food processor, you may also use it. Um, I like chopping it because it gives a certain texture to the meat, but then again, it's an option for you if you want to use a food processor to do this. Now that our meat is chopped and the skin is sliced, we're ready to cook. To do this, you're going to need to prepare a pan. In this case, I don't use any oil since there's a lot of oil on the skin already. Just be extra careful not to leave it alone and keep stirring because it may stick to the pan. Now as heat picks up, it's going to release the oil and you will see that it's becoming crispier. Now you can tell that it's ready when it's golden brown and it has shrunk. And at this stage, it's very crispy. I put it onto the side like this to drain it before I remove it from the pan. For the seasoning or herbs, you're going to need to prepare lemongrass. This is galanga. And these are kaffir leaves. In this case, I'm using about four. You're going to slice the lemongrass. It can be a little bit tough, so be careful. And then just turn it crisscross and then just slice it again, chop it. And do the same with the kalanga. They also have this available in powder form, but I prefer the fresh ones because they just smell better and they have a fresher taste. Now for the leaves, I like to roll it makes it easier to cut a slice. Now this just gives it a very, very lemony aroma with the lemongrass and the leaf, the lime leaf and the kalanga all mixed up. You just have this wonderful lemony smell that will bring out the flavor of the duck even more. Now that all three are ready, we're gonna put that away and we're going to slice the onion. Uh, you can do this in many ways. You can slice it long, you can julienne it, you can do any way you want. But in this case, I like to just um, chop it finely. And then the cilantro is next. Just chop it up. And uh, we're going to set this aside. 
Now I have um, cooked the ground duck in a pan similar to the way I did the skin and seasoned it with salt. Here I have in front of me the cooked ground duck, crispy duck skin, cilantro and the onion, crushed roasted rice, dry chicken stock, and this is the cilantro, the kaffir leaf, and uh, the galanga. This is freshly roasted dry pepper that's just been crushed. And it has this wonderful aroma that's going to bring out the flavor of the duck. This is fish sauce. And so we're going to toss the ingredients together. I like to start with the herbs first because this will give it a chance to sit in first before the other ingredients come in. Now keep in mind that when I cook the duck meat, I already season it with salt. So that's why it's not called for in this stage. However, you're going to go ahead and mix all the other ingredients. Save the dry roasted rice for last. And the reason for that is because you don't want it to be soggy. This is a wonderful traditional Lao dish that is usually served with sticky rice and garnished with vegetables such as your lettuce or cabbage or any other vegetable of your choice. Some people like it to be a little bit tangy so you can squeeze uh, half a lime into it. Taste it as you go so that you don't overdo it. And here you go, you have our dish, Q's Crispy Lab. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to our channel, send us your comments, and check our website at moanlife.com. We hope you enjoy the show. This is Q, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.